Hey guys, you do it Keon. So today I'm at Robinson's place and to follow here with your niece. Say hello. Hello. And uh, we're gonna watch Avatar Way of Water. It's the second Avatar film by James Cameron. Very excited. So before we go on with the vlog, if you haven't already, leave a like, share this video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel. Keon P. Let's go. We're here. And uh, we're gonna buy tickets. It's almost 1 p.m. and that's the show in time. All right, see you in the theaters. All right, just for some context, I watched Avatar like years ago when it came out. It's actually the only theater film that I watched three times because it's that good. I watch it on a regular uh, movie screening. Then I watch it on 3D. Then I watch it again on IMAX. So it's that good from that time period. So right now we're at Robinson's. I don't believe they have 3D films over here. So I'm just gonna have to watch it on a regular screening. So Eunice, what do you know about Avatar? I know nothing. So she needs to catch up and watch the Avatar film. I believe it's available on Disney Plus right now. And uh, go watch it guys. I believe it's doing good in the box office right now but the reviews are kind of the same as the first one but I will uh, rate it for myself all right we're going up right now and uh, let's see the prices so they're all showing avatar right now and it's worth 330 450 they have 3d all right it is panorin natin in 3D. Isama? With glasses. Of course, you need the vaccination card. I think they still ask for it in this time. Uh, 345. Okay, we got the coupons for the snacks and the actual ticket. We're gonna view it in 3D, which is a very. Um, shocking because uh, I didn't know they have 3d options in here but uh, right now it's around 12 20 we have a lot of time to, uh, to go around and chill before the, uh, the movie starts and um, yeah I think we're just gonna go around all right we're on the ground floor right now and uh, looks like they have opened Mary Grace that's actually where I uh, bought my uh, birthday cake I have it delivered. Look at this big branch of uh, Mary Grace right here. And uh, I believe there's another Korean restaurant that just opened. And I think they're gonna open a KFC branch here very soon. I'm very excited about that. But I'm very disappointed in. Uh, they're still not opening Popeyes, Jayco, and uh, this Greek restaurant right here. It's a waste. So, uh, yeah, that's. Oh, this new Jim's recipe. Japanese. The Chinese sponge cake. Anyways, they still haven't opened the uh, the Vikings or the Tonga. They will take time to open. Because they're both uh, buffet restaurants. And uh, we're walking back to the, uh, the main part of the mall with a Christmas tree right there. And uh, yeah, we're going upstairs. I believe they have opened Coco and DQ right there. Yeah. We're gonna check out the, uh, the Korean restaurant. And uh, we'll see some of the choices. If not, we'll try to check other uh, restaurants available. What do you like, Yinis? Korean food or Japanese food? Food. So they just opened a new Korean uh, restaurant called Duki. <laughs> Such a funny name. If you know its meaning in uh, English. Duki means different in uh, U.S. language, but the uh, spelling is different. But uh, seeing the name Duki sounds very funny. All right, looks like they're uh, very full right now. And uh, 
I typically don't want to experience this when there's uh, four people inside so we're gonna check downstairs again All right time zone is already open and uh, no brand a Korean uh, convenience store I guess and uh, here's their decoration the big Christmas tree which is nice to have in a mall we're gonna check that out later right now uh, I'm a little bit hungry Inis are you super hungry let's go down there all right this is a bit new I don't remember this having it here what the heck do you know what's in the bottom Inis no no this is new I've never seen this part of the mall before we have an underground basement floor now that's shocking all right but before we go everywhere we're just gonna wait for the uh, name to be called and uh eat our food right here all right we're in ramenagi right now it's the menu So it's a different uh, Japanese experience because their specialty is uh, it's about ramen which is one Japanese food I'm not very used to. We're always eating at other Japanese restaurants that serve tonkatsu or katsudon. But here, they're more focused on uh, soup based uh, foods. So I'm very excited to try it out. I bought the uh, original ramen. What did you buy? I can't remember. Well, anyways, we're now waiting and uh, yeah, hopefully the food is good. Alright, it's time to dig in. Alright, amazing lunch at Ramen Nagi. How was it? It was good. So much good. And uh, I was able to finish mine. Yunisus didn't even finish the ramen. And uh... Yeah, but it was good ramen. Try it, guys. We're on our way down, by the way, to which I've never been to this part of the mall, so let's see. All right, we're in the basement area, to which I didn't know exists. So let's see what's on this floor. We got the band. We got some uh, small stalls right here. Some, uh, some corn. Let's see in the back here. So. We're gonna put in some uh, furniture stores here. And uh, look at this. This is the, uh, the vaccination area. If you want to get vaccinated, you can go here. And uh, I think we're gonna put in some uh, shops here. Or oh, some dental, dental clinic. And over there, the bank of Robinsons. All right, this is something new. This is a pet park. You can definitely uh, bring your pets right here to have some fun. Got some uh, pet shop right here, which is very nice to have. And uh, it looks like there's a money exchange over there. Healthcare center clinic and the parking lot outside. So I think that is it for the, uh, the basement part, which is very nice to know. All right, so we're going back upstairs to see some of the shops available. And it looks like they have their own pay lounge. So I don't want to pay like a fee just to get the, to the bathroom. Maybe if we were going for number two, but not right now. I really like to prefer it uh, at home. Denise, get that bank. Leave a comment down below if you like Yunisa's bangs. Is it a yes or a no? 
Oh yeah, it's rotating. They put in some shops right here in the middle. And uh, right now, Viking is still closed. Dongyang is still closed. Dairy Queen and Coco right there are the only shops open on this part of the mall at the front. And uh, all right, let's go to the old mall to see uh, if there's something new. I don't know where they're gonna put in the KFC. I've seen the promotion earlier. They're gonna open up very soon here at Robinson's. So to answer your question earlier, looks like they're gonna occupy this spot for the KFC newest branch. It's gonna compete with Popeyes and uh, Jollibee and the best chicken in the mall. All right, we're here in the old mall. I think we're just gonna walk around and uh, not film on these parts. So maybe I'll skip when we're about to go in for Avatar. All right, see you guys soon. All right, we're going back to the theater now. Five minutes before showing time. We have three popcorn, three drinks, bathroom. Let's go. Alright, we're going inside now. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, the movie is finished. And uh, still wearing our 3D glasses. How was the film? It's really good. Yeah, it's a good movie. Let's wait to go outside for some light. Yeah, I really enjoyed the film. I think I'll give it a uh, 8 out of 10. There still seems to be a lot of plot holes, but you know, I watched the film by its uh, technical advancements. The graphics are very good. The story is good. And uh, yeah, I really enjoyed the film, but I don't think I'll be watching it again on theaters like the first one. And uh, how about you? How do you rate the film? Probably a 9 because the 3D was cool. And she hasn't watched the first film to which I, uh, you know, I enjoyed. And uh, yeah, we're outside now. And uh, it's a good film to watch, you guys. I think it has the potential to, uh, to beat Top Gun Maverick at the box office. And uh, yeah, really good. Give it a chance to watch in 3D as well. And uh, yeah, I think I'll be ending the vlog right here in Robinson's. And uh, please, if you haven't already, leave a like, share this video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel, TMPH. And uh, yeah, that's about it for the vlog. See you guys very soon. Bye.